Okay guys, so I'm putting this at the front of the video, mainly because some people might come to this video just so they can figure out how to do this specific scene. So basically, in order to get past the cooking scene first, you're going to want to put in the onions. Uh, I like to still wait like a couple seconds, just, just let the onions sit there for a little bit. And then you're going to want to throw in the meat. You're going to just wait a couple seconds before you throw in the carrots. But after a couple seconds, throw in the carrots. Then you're going to want to wait a couple seconds and throw in the tomato sauce. It's basically kind of like real cooking. I don't know if you really have to wait, but I'm just being safe rather than sorry. Uh, then add in the herbs. Okay, and then you'll notice the noodles actually show up. So you're going to not stop cooking right away. You're going to wait till the noodles get about there, and then you're going to click stop. And then, voila, you got the perfect meal. <laughs> My name is Zoro. Welcome back to Amorous. We are going to go on our second date with Remy. Well, kind of third. I guess when we first met her, it was kind of a date at a certain point once we got in the pool. But anyway, we're going to be talking to her and we're going to be having some fun. <laughs> hopefully we don't run into Kobe on the way. Uh, hopefully Remy is free today. Ring, ring, click. Fabulous Aura or Aura. Hey, I was hoping you'd call back soon. Hey Remy, yep. I wanted to see if you're if you'd be free today. Shoot, you know I've missed you. But work again? Yeah, though actually it's teaching it's a teaching night at the school. If you were interested in that sort of thing, I'd be able to sneak you into class. Will sexy teacher outfits be involved? You know, when I first saw you, I assumed you had a sexy librarian outfit somewhere. <laughs> well, I do, but it's a practical lesson. So mostly it'll be aprons and silly hats. Uh what are we making? Ragu a la Bolognese? Bo bo Bolognese? Or spaghetti sauce? <laughs> uh, sounds delicious, so long as you're not going to get in trouble for sneaking your boyfriend in. I'd love to. <laughs> like how I subtly slipped that one in? You know it, I'll let people know you're coming. There might be a couple friends there. I'll be on my best behavior, don't worry. I'm not worried, Owen. Maybe don't come in any white clothes. Tomato sauce and all. Uh, good call. So when should I meet you? 7 p.m. at the college campus, the D&T building. All right. See you there, Remy. See you there, hun. Uh, this will be great. Love you. Click. Bitch, just hung up. I'm joking. I didn't get it. Love you, too. Didn't get to say I love you back, bitch. Right. Depress <laughs> dressing to impress and hopefully not fucking up making pasta. You can do this, Aura. I believe in us. <laughs> I made good time getting ready and managed to escape any horribly unhelpful cooking tips from Kobe. It occurred to me that Remy's friends at the college might be closer to her age than mine. Hopefully she had a chance to explain about me. There was nothing to it but to do my best not to offend her class and oh, oh and also not messing up the cooking too. So no pressure then. Phew. Okay, here goes nothing. When I got to the classroom, the only kitchen in the building that seemed to be open, I found a handful of students of varying ages already in their aprons, getting their workstations ready. I couldn't see Remy anywhere. I checked the door again, and it definitely had her name as the instructor. Hey, excuse me. You at the door. You're Aura, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was looking for Remy. This is her class, right? Well, duh. How could this person know your name? Uh, sorry. Of course it is. If she told you about me, I was paranoid. I was late there for a few for a minute. Nope, you're early, if anything. Remy is just making a run to the storeroom, getting the ingredients out and stuff, you know? Oh, well, good. Sorry, you already know my name. Do you mind if I ask? This is a hyena. I am going to actually screen cap this real quick and send it to Athena. I kind of think his name is like, <laughs> Not at all. I'm Rack. I've known Remy for a few years. We used to go to the college together way back when. The handsome hyena seemed nice enough as I shook his hand with an earnest smile. Nice to meet one of Remy's friends. The feeling is mutual. Remy said you were a little younger, lucky woman, snatching you up like that. You're only as old as you feel, right? She's like them. Uh, she likes them younger. I like them older. It works out. I guess not really anyone's business, but ours really. I guess I'm the lucky one, really. That's sweet of you, trying to butter us up a little. Uh, maybe a little, making a good impression and all that. Though it's true, I've really enjoyed getting to know Remy. Rack winked as he passed me an amber to put on over my outfit. Was he hint hitting on me? That's nice of you to say, just looking out for Remy. 
If you'd like to what you see, hopefully you get to partner up. You've got nothing to be jealous of, I'm sure. Jeez, do all of our mutual friends want to bone me? I know the situation is slightly unusual. I hope that doesn't bother you. Remy is a good friend, so I guess I worry a little, but no, sorry if I was giving you a hard time. I'm not sure if you know how much Remy's about Remy's exes, but I guess I'm surprised. That last few, uh, that last few had been a little rough around the edges. You seem nice. Trust me, the only one I know almost got punched. She said she'd had bad luck. I hope to break the street. Yeah, Remy has got a bit of a reputation. I do my best at least. No one is perfect, right? Eh. Yeah, that's the best anyone can do. You're all right, Aura. I think you'd be good for Remy, with an attitude like that. Oh, so maybe you can help me out with this last thing. Remy didn't say where she'd meet you, where she met you. It wasn't at the Amherst Club, right? Actually, yeah, we met at Amherst. I bumped into her on, uh, on a night out with my brother. We'd run into each other here and there. Actually, yeah, we met at Amherst. That place has a really bad reputation. In my defense, I'm pretty new to the club scene, and I basically dragged, dragged Remy out of the shadows. She wasn't making a fool of herself or anything. That makes me feel a little better. About what? With who? <laughs> Safe by the babe, fabulous Aura. Can I talk to you for a minute, Remy? But... Is this the same situation? I hope I said the right thing. Okay. We'll be, uh, we'll be back in a minute. Don't go running off. Oh god, no. What did you say? Oh crap, what did I do? According to Rack, I uh, pre apparently for from <laughs> I'm apparently forbidden from fucking it up with you. That's right, 100% approval here. You just let me know if this bunny butt makes the mistake of trying to let you get away. Gosh, Rack, you're just trying to embarrass us now. I'm glad you approve though. Thank you, Rack. No problem. I'll leave you kids to be cute together. I should set up my station. Your friend has a nice rack. Um, I did good. A little hard to tell if you're friends, Remy. <laughs> you did great. I knew you could behave yourself for a few minutes. She slipped close and I ran my hands over her back to pull her in by the rump with a playful grin. Behaving comes at a price, you know. I'll owe it you, promise. I, th I don't know if that's grammarly correct. I d have not seen it worded like that before. She giggled, stepping back and leaving me breathless and flustered. Anyway, I'm glad things went well. I need to start the class now, but I'll be back after. Good luck. I found my place at one of the empty cooking stations ready to listen to Remy's instructions. Okay, class, listen up. <laughs> okay, everyone, we're going to be discussing the best way to make a traditional ragu a la balag... Bal bologna, which is the fancy way to say a traditional pasta sauce from bologna in a <laughs> I, I apologize if I offend anyone. Uh, <laughs> now there's many different versions of this dish, and we're only and we've only got so many practice practice ingredients here. But I'll talk you through the variations when we come to them. The key ingredients, besides the herbs, of course, are the combination of tomatoes, ground beef, onions, and carrots. And <laughs> yes, I know, bunny and carrots. It's just how the recipe is. I'll be going around giving some tips as we go through, but for the most part, you're going to be on your own here. This is a pretty simple recipe, and you're likely to have made something like it before. First off, like so many recipes, we want to soften up the onion and garlic. You should have these proportioned out for you. At home, I like to use a mix of yellow and red onions, personally, about one medium size, one of each, and a few extra garlic gloves. We've got a large white onion here for today. We only have so many ingredients in the budget, of course, but you can adjust these to taste at home. The way she took charge of the lesson was adorable. Remy seemed to light up when she was talking about cooking, a passion that she seemed a little too shy to share with just anyone outside of the kitchen. Remember to heat the oil first, but at, to a low heat when making this at home. A trick I learned from Indian cooking is that the slower you cook the onions, the better they taste. I personally like a finely chopped garlic and strips of onion about an eighth of an inch by an inch. Typically, we'd also add in a few spices at this point too to bring out the flavors when heating the onions and garlic. All spice, pepper, cinnamon, and cloves. You should add bay leaves at this stage too. We don't have those with us today at at your station. We'll be making a basic virgin here. It makes sense that she was giving the variations for the other students and some of them were pulling out the extras they had brought with them. I'd have to make do with what they had here. When the onions are starting to brown, that's when we'll be turning up the heat and adding to the ground beef. Adding in the ground beef, trying not to break it up. Too much as it cooks as it keeps some of its consistency. 
It's common in Europe to add a beef bouillon cube or Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce in at this point to infuse the meat. And you can even use honey bourbon, bourbon or wine like you do in a chili. When the meat is browned, we'll be adding in a couple of grated carrots. That's before the tomato sauce so the carrot juices can mix with the core flavors and reduce down a little without compromising to ma the tomato flavor. The tradition of adding carrot in is often cut out of simple ragu, but it makes a good pairing to beef, especially with the addition of a cinnamon and citrus elements. It also pairs great with the spice combination in a cottage pie, and it brings a good color profile to most dishes. It was honestly great to see her so animated and in her element. She lived lit up in a way that was a little distracting in comparison to the shy girl hiding by the railings at Amaris. She bounced cutely on her heels as she reached the recipe from memory. After the carrots are heated through and the juices are coming together, we'll be adding in our tomatoes. Typically, you want, uh, want to use a large can of chopped tomatoes for about a pound or so of beef, depending on the water and fat content. You'll also want to add in a small can of tomatoes pure, a uh, tomato pure, or a third of a, a tube of the paste. You could chop up your own tomatoes too, which gives a more rustic mouthfeel, though a smoother sauce requires peeling your tomatoes first. If you can manage it at home, I always recommend keeping your tomatoes by the window in a fruit bowl. Even a ripe tomato is still maturing in flavor, and the extra sun exposure adds to the taste. You want to bring the sauce to a temperature that can give it to soften up the meat a little and mix in with the oils from our other ingredients. You're looking at about a 20 minute slow simmer, the first half with the lid on. I've known traditional recipes to reduce a higher water content sauce for hours and you need more time for fresh cut raw tomatoes. Remy was moving a little fast for me. I wasn't expecting a stranger in the kitchen to the kitchen, but I wa washed I'd brought a notepad to take notes. Onions first meat, simple enough. Early on, this, on in this process, we'll be adding in any dried herbs. A typical Italian mix will work fine. If you don't know what that's, three parts oregano to every two parts thyme and marjoram, and every one part basil, rosemary, and sage. If you're mixing from all dried ingredients, you can take that as a teaspoon guide. Though personally, I'd like to use a little less sog and rosemary. For today, we'll be using fresh herbs, which you add in later. When the sauce is almost done, keep an eye on the sauce. You don't want it to get too thick and stick. We've got fresh basil, thyme, and oregano here. The portion should be measured out for you, but you want a similar balance to what I said before. Remember that large leafed herbs need to be chopped lightly so you don't lose the flavor to the chopping board. Small wooter herbs like thyme and rosemary can be chopped thin thinner and keep their flavors. If you can get a lemon thyme plant from your local nursery, I find the flavor a good addition here. We'll be adding in the fresh herbs with five minutes to go on the sauce and you would typically keep a few basil and oregano leaves for garnish with a freshly grated parmesan. There are variants of the sauce I mentioned earlier that I would strongly consider if you have the ingredients to hand. I find the sauce improved by two sticks of cinnamon put in at the onion phase and some seasoning mixed in at the beef stage, like Worcestershire sauce or even a small amount of extra pure to help bind the spices to the meat. When you would add in the dry herbs, I also usually squeeze in the juice of half a lemon, the citrus working very well for oregano, something we covered in the other week in Greek cooking. Greek cooking, Indian influences, Remy seemed to really know her stuff. A more traditional Balognese would also use cream near the end. Also, about a half a cup in cubed bacon or poncetti and with the rest of the meat. You can use milk for a lighter sauce or condensed cream of tomato soup for sweetness. It's also worth noting that the most traditional sauce from this region would be paired in with pasta shells or tagalette. Taglet. Taglatel, taglatte, not spaghetti. In a home setting, many recipes recommend to use about a half a cup of Marsala wine. Though personally, I think any more than a splash into the meat when it's cooking overpowers the tomato and carrot profile. Also, haha, <laughs> they certainly wouldn't let us budget in bottles of wine for the night course. And that's everything you need to know for now. I'll be hovering around. And we'll but we're looking at a pretty easy recipe today. Keep an eye on your pans. We won't be chopping any meat today, so we can work off one chopping board. But let's remember our hygiene lessons, especially with the ground beef. Phew, okay, here goes nothing then. Okay, I need to watch these ingredients carefully so I don't burn any of them. Got timed this just right. I don't fucking remember this!
What? Um. Uh. I think it was add this. Add onions. Then add carrots. Then add, uh. Oregano, and then and then add some hamburger meat. Is this really? Uh, this seems okay. Stop cooking. Did I? Ah! Was I supposed to wait? Ah! Oh, I fucked up! I fucked up! Let's see how my new favorite student did. I know we didn't have all the extra ingredients you mentioned, but I did my best. I didn't know I was supposed to memorize this. I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to skip it. I want to skip it. Okay. Okay. So, I've restarted the game. I'm going to pay attention to the reading now, but I'm going to do some jump cuts. So, let's see how well we go. I'm going to need a fucking notepad for notes. What is this shit? Okay. So let's see, onions and garlic. Okay, onions and garlic. And we gotta wait till these start to brown. Uh, I think, I think we just gotta wait till these brown a little bit. Do we gotta wait here 20 minutes? Tomatoes, okay. And then we add in onion brown, put in meat. I think these are the herbs, though. Then meat. Then once you add in the brown meat, put in carrots. in carrots and then you want to add tomato sauce then herbs oh my god did I do good did I do good? I took notes. Let's see how many. Uh, let's see how my new favorite student did. I know we didn't have all the ingredients you mentioned, but I did my best. Remy inspected the plate inquisitively. Seemed to be running down a mental checklist. Inquisitively. After a few moments, she took a fork full of the pasta and chewed on it uh, thoughtfully. Mm, you made this? Um, yeah. How is it? This is really great, Aura. Really, I'd say that the balance you got with the ingredients here is of restaurant quality. I know we didn't exactly have the best choice of extra seasonings, but this is perfect. I should have been keeping a better eye on you to watch you work on this. I grinned sheepishly, happy to have done a good job. Uh, well, I had the best teacher. <laughs> You're gonna get a few miles out of that, huh? Oh, don't worry, I'm saving it up. You had your uh, turn shouting out orders. I'll have to find a way to get even. She kissed me briefly, giving my hand a squeeze, looking around a little to see if any of her students were paying attention. You know I look forward to it. Either way, you were pretty amazing back there. What? Nah. You were. You really came alive when you were instructing everyone. It was really good to see you were so shy. Ba you were so shy back at Amorous. I guess. I just loved the whole process, you know? Teaching people to make stuff that they can use to, their ho to make their families happy sharing, sharing what I've learned. I understand completely, and you know I look forward to watching you cook yourself. A romantic meal, just the two of us? You know, you're pretty much amazing, Aura. I love that you get it. Well, I love you. You know I love you, Remy. I'm really glad we've clicked so quickly. She embraced me tenderly, and we shared another kiss. I've got to file some paperwork and give this place all tidied away before a staff meeting, but text me later. You bet, Remy. I had a great time today, hon. I'll see you again soon, I hope. We parted at the door and I headed home in the cool evening air. I know Kobe would still be up a while if I was going to wait up to text Remy. I'd be able to chill out with him a while. It was getting a little late when I got home and changed into some BJs, but Kobe had a movie on downstairs. I could wait up with him. When she's finished, yeah. Let's see if Kobe's movie is any good then. The film is one of those B-movie action films, the type where half muscular, oiled up guys, and half guns and explosions. 
So the date with Remy went well? Yeah, I think so. What about you? Anyone interested over today or are your shorts in the wash again for another reason? I can't just wait and want to hang out with, in my underwear watching action movies. Both of us know that you don't mean that in a bunch or manly way. I guess, eh, you caught me. The movie finished and Kobe started up a new game of Dungeon Gates while I watched from my spot under a blanket on the couch. It was nice to chill out with him, but I had to admit that Remy was on my mind. Playing someone's popular crap boss rush. Hey, hon, you still up? Yep, I wasn't sure when you finished. Have a good night? It went okay, yeah, I got back a bit ago. What you up to? Chilling out on the couch watching my brother play a video game. Sounds cozy, wish I was there to cuddle up. Woo loot! Would be far better with you here. Doing okay? Yeah, just a little lonely. Aw, oh, that uh, feeling is mutual. I shifted in my blanket a little and tried to hide a smirk from Kobe. You know, I wish we kept each other company. Yes, please, sorry. No need to be sorry, poor lonely bunny. I need my aura, I guess. I'm sure you'd make good <laughs> you'd make good on your promise to help. Of course, very concerned about bunny girls being looked after. Wish we could help each other out. Shame your brother is in the room. Not that much of a shame. Got a blanket on. Naughty. Hot, though. My fingers <laughs> slid over my thigh and itched to cup the building heat between my legs. As I squeezed against myself with a private shudder that Kobe seemed obvious to. Oblivious to. <laughs> Kobe, I feel like he knows, and he's just like, ah, I'm gonna let it slide. No, but all by myself. Poor me. Lonely with nothing to do. I assume we're both doing similar, very similar things. Yeah, but I can also do this. I didn't think I would have to censor this episode. I'm sh I have to render this twice now! I had to stop myself making a noise. Kobe was too busy fighting a horde. Otherwise, he certainly would have seen my jaw drop. With her body on display like that, I wish I was there <laughs> was a huge understatement. I swelled hard, fingers feeling my enjoyment ache against them. I shifted my leg carefully to rest my foot on the couch, making a tent of the blanket with my knee before anything else could become more obvious. My eyes traced over her curves adoringly, from bust to hip, appreciating the creamy underbelly that slipped down out of shot. Mm, you're gorgeous, Remy. I want every bit of you. Yes, please. Glad you appreciate, Aura. Like the shot? Tell me if not. Very kissable. I love your tummy. Can I make a request? That tummy needs more love next time I see you. I'd love to see a higher shot, a more boob focus. I'd love to see a lower shot, a more of a crush. I'm more of a butt purse. <laughs> I guess with the extra junk in my trunk, I should have figured. You're ex <laughs> you're extremely gropable. Wish I had my hands all over that butt now. My big butt wishes that too, groping and more. I don't mind being ass up for you. Fuck, you're too hot to believe. My poor aura, and sharing a room too? Playing with yourself for me? I hope you're at least a little c uncomfortable. He's the only thing stopping me from whipping it out. Hoping, <laughs> hope I'm not the only one <laughs> typing one-handed. No, nope, very nope. Poor dear, we could trade jobs if I was there. Fuck, Remy. <laughs> my fingers worked over the thick, damp length through my clothes as my mind raced from the thoughts of her. Knowing she was touching herself made me bite my lip as I tried to stifle a moan, throbbing in my hand with need. The thoughts of you playing with yourself like that, very sexy. You keep this up and I'm going to leave the couch in wet PJs. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a bad thing, enjoying my picture that much? That and your teasing, horny bunny. I've got a better idea. I want to see how much you're enjoying yourself, too. I can't hear on the couch, woman. Go to the bathroom, then. We'll trade pictures. I want to get off to you, too. I snuck out while Scobus was in the middle of a boss fight. The incriminatingly <laughs> incriminatory grip of my clothes to my crotch, making me walk awkwardly up the stairs. I rushed to the bathroom and shut the door. Snap. Here are you, evil bunny, sending a picture back so you can see how nuts you drive me. <laughs> Loading, mm, my turn to gape at pictures, I guess. Hope you're enjoying the evening as much as I am. You'll be able to see that in the picture. So that's what you're hiding, huh? Very sexy. Poor needy dear. Not hiding it now. Mm, such a tease. Seems like a big part of you enjoys the teasing. I'd call you slut, but I guess I'm the only one with pants around my ankle stroking myself against the sink. Oh, no. Slutty is fine. Horny at least. And very jealous of your sink. You're not the only one with busy fingers. Want to finish with me? Not going to last long now. I'm not hiding under a blanket. Want me to do it here in the bathroom? No, I guess not. My bed then, so I can get comfortable? Nope. What do you mean then? I mean save it. Wait until we're together. You know, for a subby bunny, you're making a lot of demands today. I want to help you make the mess. 
Uh, fine, but you better be ready to be ba bounced, buddy. I'm pretty much right on the edge here. When I see you again, we'll very much enjoy ourselves. Well, <laughs> we'd better. You drive me crazy in all the best ways. Sweet dreams, Aura. I somehow managed to get myself under control enough to make my way to bed, trying not to let anything touch the sensitive need between my legs. Pling. What now? A little extra for you. Don't blow yet. Fuck, Remy. You damn tease. I shifted in bed, burying my hips against my mattress, shutting my eyes tight to ignore the pressure inside me. You okay in there? You know your phone camera makes a very specific noise, right? If you come in here, I'm gonna beat you with a pillow. You're gonna beat something. Er, I wish. Yawn, morning already? I'm going to have to actually save into one of my very old saves, and I'm going to have to actually... I don't have a save of our date with Remy, but I'm going to go back, and we're going to see if we get a different image from the different choices. Okay, it took me 20 minutes, but I uh, I decide I picked the choice. I'm more of a boob person, so I have a bit of a breastplay suckling thing, yeah. No, just the normal amount of big breast love. Can't okay, blame me there. I hope you're stacked. It, not at all. You can uh, bury your face there all you want, sweetie. I blame that swimsuit. Flaunting your curves, biteable. Fuck, you're too hot to believe. Now let's see if we actually. I think this is the same messages, so we're just gonna skip to the boob shot. Oh fuck, Remy, you damn tease! I shift in bed, burying my hips against the mattress, and start my eyes to ignore the pressure inside me. So yeah, it's a different image every time. So. Let's, uh, let's close the application real quick, and let's get the next couple shots. Alright, time for the tummy sh uh, needs more love. My tummy would appreciate it very much. Figured you were a bit of a chubby chaser. More to love and hug and squeeze and everything else. Uh, well, gotta flaunt my curves more if you like them so much. Hell yes, as long as you don't mind me being unable to keep my hands off you. Fuck, you're too hot to believe, and now we skip to the next, uh, to the image. Which you just spam space and click. This is some intense gameplay right here. You know, I'm just gonna put a shot of me playing an actual game in this. And it's a, it's a tummy shot. <laughs> I don't think I need to really censor any of these shots, to be honest. The first one, yes, but not really any of these other ones. Like, the butt pose, I don't even know if I should censor that. It depends... Like, according to YouTube, it depends how, like, erotic the uh, screenshot is. So, I might censor all of them, but again, you can all see all of them in the mines URL. Now, time for the last one. Alright, so we're doing the last image, which is... I'd love to see a lower shot. I'm more crotch-focused. Prefer to skip to dessert. Well, I appreciate the focused attention. You know what? I could bury my snout there for hours. Hours now I do wish you were here. Well, I guess the tummy shot is the same as the crotch shot. Well, okay <laughs> Well, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Amherst If you did make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment you can check out the uncensored version in mines in the description And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode Which I believe is the final episode of our fun with Remy. See you later One week, no guess, makes me go.